What's up, y'all? Let's talk about Buford, Georgia. Buford is located in the northeast part of Metro Atlanta, and it's kind of far from the city of Atlanta. To get to Atlanta, you would use Interstate 85, which is like the main road that gets from many of the suburbs in the northeast part of Metro Atlanta down to the city of Atlanta. But Buford is about 45 minutes to an hour away from the city of Atlanta. And if there's rush hour traffic, you could assume at least an hour and 15, maybe even an hour and 30 minutes. So it's quite a ways out there. It's really on the very outside part of Metro Atlanta. There's a lot of really good things about the city of Buford and there's some downsides to the city of Buford. So let's talk about what it's like to live in Buford and if that might be the right city for you. If you've watched this channel at all before, you know that many of the cities around Metro Atlanta have some kind of city center or a downtown area. Marietta has Marietta Square and Suwannee has town center. And then Buford has this kind of downtown area as well. And the downtown part of Buford is not great it's kind of um it has this like old school charm to it if you're into that kind of historic feel to the downtown areas then buford has got that that's generally the kind of vibe that you're going to get in the downtown part of buford the buildings are a good example of like the age of the city of buford and like many of the downtown areas of these different cities Buford is located right off of the railroad tracks and that's because a long time ago when they actually used these railroad tracks to deliver goods to and from the different cities that's where they built the downtown part of Buford so the railroad runs right through the downtown part of Buford the buildings have that kind of historic charm to it so when you're walking down the main street of Buford, it's like being transported to the past. It certainly has that old school vibe to it. And for some people, that's exactly what they're looking for. You know, they want that kind of quiet, small town feel. But for other people, that's not what they're looking for. So certainly something to consider if you're thinking about moving to Buford, Georgia. One of the best parts about living in Buford is the housing market in Buford is great for buyers. In comparison to all of the other metro Atlanta cities where the competition for buyers is super high and home values are going through the roof, Buford is a nice reprieve from all of those crazy competitive metro atlanta cities because buford is kind of a ways out from the city of atlanta it's not one of the more popular suburbs for metro atlanta and that means that you can get a lot of home for your money in the city of buford it's really these cities that are on the outskirts of metro atlanta that more and more people are starting to move to as the housing market is getting more and more competitive people are starting to move farther and farther away from the major cities. So cities like Woodstock, Cumming, and Buford are the kind of cities that people are starting to move to more and more. The average home value in the city of Buford in the last 60 days is 475,000. When we compare that to some of the other suburbs, like the city of Suwannee, which is just one city south of Buford, the average home value in Suwannee is 600,000 and the average home value in the city of Alpharetta is 735,000. So there's no question that you can get a lot of home for your money in Buford, especially when you compare these different average home values. In addition to that, the average days on market in Buford for a listing is 17 days. In Suwannee, it's eight days and in Alpharetta, it's five days. So there is a lot more competition in cities like Suwannee and Alpharetta than there is in Buford. There's not nearly as much competition in the city of Buford yet, but I assure you it's coming as more and more people start to come to the city of Atlanta and to Metro Atlanta area. This is where people will be moving to. So right now, the city of Buford is in a sweet spot with lower home values, less competition, and you can still access the city of Atlanta 
from the major interstate system, albeit it's a ways out. And 475 for the average home in Buford is really just that. It's an average. There's a wide range of home values in Buford as low as 300,000 to as high as 1.5 million. Here's a couple listings that have sold in the last 60 days. 2125 Amber Creek Drive sold for 340,000. It was a three bedroom, two bath, 1900 square feet half an acre and built in 1989. So there's no question that you can get plenty of home for your money for much lower than the average 475. And then 3661 Hamilton Mill Road sold for 1.4 million, which was a five bedroom, four bath, I believe. It was 5,500 square feet with an unfinished 2,000 square foot basement on 2.2 acres and it was just built in 2022. So you can see there's a very wide range, not only of home values, but of age of homes and style of homes in the city of Buford. But one of the best things that you should know about the city of Buford is that it's in Gwinnett County. And historically speaking, Gwinnett County has always been one of the best counties for the school system in Metro Atlanta. In the city of Buford, we have Ivy Creek Elementary School, which is a nine out of 10, according to greatschools.org, Buford Middle School, which is a nine out of 10, and Buford High School, which is an eight out of 10. So even though Buford is on the very outskirts of Metro Atlanta, they still have excellent schools, which is not something that can be said for some of the other cities that are on the outskirts of Metro Atlanta, like Woodstock and Cumming those cities are still have some room for improvement for the public school system. Buford is there. Buford has excellent schools, excellent home values, and you can find that small town feel that many people are looking for. Another thing that's a big draw for many people who live in the city of Buford is that it's so close to Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier is the largest lake that we have in Georgia, and it is super popular for people to go fishing, boating, swimming. There are many homes on the lake, and Lake Lanier is that kind of lake lifestyle that many people are looking for. It's a really great way to get away from the city, the lake is much quieter than the city. You can kind of enjoy the sun there, enjoy the water. And Lake Lanier is a great place to spend time, especially if you're into the outdoors. There's lots of hiking around Lake Lanier. There's plenty of ways to get away from the crowds at Lake Lanier. So if having that kind of outdoor living is important to you, then Lake Lanier near the city of Buford is a great option. Okay, let's talk about the racial diversity in the city of Buford. According to georgiademographics.com, Buford is 45% white, 35% Hispanic, and 12% African American. Now, that might sound diverse to you, but to some people that doesn't sound diverse. It, it really just depends on your perspective. And sometimes I've talked about racial diversity on this channel, and not everybody has agreed with me, and, and rightfully so. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. So let's talk about racial diversity and like what that looks like not only in Buford but also in Metro Atlanta as a whole. Racial diversity really kind of depends on what part of the state or the country or the world you come from. For example, as a Latin American, it's very important to me and my family to be in an area that has that kind of racial diversity. So if you come from a part of the country that is predominantly one race or one ethnicity, then the city of Buford might seem very racially diverse to you. But if you come from a part of the country like New York or LA, where there is a melting pot of different cultures and different races, then the city of Buford is not going to seem racially diverse to you. Even if you come from the city of Atlanta, compared to the city of Atlanta, Buford is not very racially diverse. It all kind of depends on your perspective and what you're used to. So talking about whether or not a city is racially diverse, it can be hard to explain because it depends on your perspective. So is the city of Buford racially diverse? Well, compared to some of the other Metro Atlanta cities, I would say Buford is not very racially diverse compared to other Metro Atlanta cities. But if we were to look at some of the cities outside of Metro Atlanta, like in rural Georgia, 
then yeah, absolutely Beaufort is super racially diverse compared to some of the cities in rural Georgia. There's no question that the city of Beaufort has its good sides and its bad sides. If you want to know more about the pros and cons of living in Beaufort, Georgia, check out this video. I'll see you there.